So skateboarding really is performance art that utilizes the uh, built environment around you, whether that is public space in parks or even on private space, like on, like in courtyards and uh, things of that nature. Um, I mean, it really is an art form in the sense that uh, you can essentially take this thing, which is a skateboard, and you can, um, you know, make it flip and slide and grind on all sorts of different obstacles and all sorts of different variations, and you can really just incorporate um, what you want to it. Some people definitely view it as a sport. Some people view it as an art. I definitely take the standpoint that it's an art form. Well, most people see the urban environment as um, just random obstacles that are placed everywhere that might not have as much significance to a skateboarder who can see them as some sort of obstacle. Um, so all of these things that you're surrounded by in your daily life, whether it's a, le a ledge or a bench or a set of stairs, can be seen as an obstacle for, for a skateboarder to skateboard. Skateboarding, in order to do what you want, um, in most cases, takes a lot of persistence. Even doing really basic, simple tricks like ollieing, which is just just bringing the board off the ground, can take uh, weeks and sometimes months to learn. Uh, so it's really skateboarding is really all about persistence. But the views on skateboarding is very conflicted. You you have a lot of people who like truly enjoy it and can truly see see it f from a, what it is in terms of creative expression and so forth, but there are a lot of people who simply don't understand it and, and view it as the um, a destruction of property rather than the utilization of space. I keep doing it because it's that feeling of, of working towards that, that really hard trick and then finally landing it. It's just such, such a sense of, of accomplishment. And then also to be able to use skateboarding as this creative outlet for myself is just really, really rewarding.